Hi, welcome to my channel. The liver is an essential organ in your body. It is involved in every metabolic process that happens in your body. And we will discuss the most common signs and symptoms of fatty liver disease and try to understand the underlying mechanism so you can take action and improve your health. The liver is directly or indirectly responsible for over 500 functions in our body. Knowing and understanding these functions is going to help you in identifying the symptoms that we discuss here. And these include making hormones, activating them and then breaking them down, making glycogen from extra glucose and storing it for future use. And when that runs out, the liver can make glucose from scratch from glycerin and amino acids. Also when our diets are very low on carbs, the liver makes ketones which can be used as fuel for the brain. The liver is a protein factory. Most of the proteins in the body are made in the liver. These are blood proteins that help maintain blood pressure. The liver is also involved in making cholesterol and maintaining the right balance. Cholesterol is recycled as needed and the liver keeps the optimal ratio of LDL low density lipoprotein and HDL high density lipoprotein depending on the needs of the body. Detoxifying the body The liver is the only organ that can deal with toxic substances like chemicals. It does this by converting them into harmless water soluble substances that can be excreted as urine. I believe this should be enough to understand the importance of this organ. Please keep this in mind when we are discussing the symptoms part of the video. The most common form of liver disease is fatty liver. More severe forms of liver disease are steatohepatitis and cirrhosis. And these distinctions simply mean there are toxic substances inside the liver that hamper its functions. Based on the severity, this could lead to liver failure or even cancer. In essence, there are different stages of liver disease and liver failure. During the early stages, the liver is not damaged or I should say scarred, but can become inflamed. This can be mild or severe. The liver can accumulate fat and your cells can become resistant to insulin leading to type 2 diabetes. If the inflammation continues, it can develop into scar tissues which affects the liver function and your overall health. When the scarring is extensive and affects most of the liver, it's called cirrhosis. And this is a serious condition that can lead to liver failure or cancer. With this in mind, let's talk about the signs of fatty liver. One of the first signs of liver injury is a condition called bronze diabetes. Its scientific name being hemochromatosis, which means having too much iron in the blood. So this is not really diabetes, but it can be related to it and can make it worse. This disease happens when the body absorbs more iron from the food than what it needs and has trouble getting rid of the excess. As a result, some of the excess iron can get stuck in the sweat glands of the skin and give it a tint of a bronze color. Skin color is not the worst problem though. The real problem is that iron can harm your organs, especially your liver. This is why bronze diabetes can contribute to liver disease, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. When suffering from liver disease, it is very important to know if you have this condition because it is common and easy to treat. There is also a possibility that this can cause insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Most commonly, to check whether one has bronze diabetes, a ferritin test is used. This test measures a blood protein that contains iron and the test shows whether blood has too much or too little iron. A common treatment for bronze diabetes is the removal of blood from the body on a regular basis. This can lower the iron levels and prevent or improve the symptoms of hemochromatosis. Another sign of fatty liver or liver stress could be jaundice which is when the skin and eyes start accumulating a yellowish pigment. This happens because of a substance called bilirubin, which comes from the breakdown of red blood cells. Red blood cells are important in transporting oxygen inside the body. The liver, when functioning properly, is supposed to get rid of the bilirubin when it's making bile. And this also gives poop its characteristic brown color. But if the liver is damaged, 
it cannot do this role at maximum efficiency and the bilirubin spreads to other parts of the body, hence the yellowish color of the skin and eyes. The next sign of liver disease is xanthalasma, and it means there are yellow colored patches on the inner corners of the eyes. The coloration might seem a lot like jaundice, but it's not. These are caused by cholesterol buildup. Bile is a substance that the liver makes and it is stored in the gallbladder. It helps digest fats in the food, but when the liver is under a lot of stress and is not functioning properly, it makes less bile and the intestines will have a hard time with fat digestion. This can also affect cholesterol levels and some of it can accumulate in places where they shouldn't, like the inner corners of the eyes. Next sign could be erratic bowel movements, especially frequent diarrhea. This is one of the most common symptoms of liver disease. But the reasoning behind this is not very clearly understood. Some journal papers mention that insulin resistance could be the culprit but more research is needed. Another problem is greasy stools, meaning there is a lot of fat in the stool. This is very easy to understand. It happens when the liver does not make enough bile. Like I mentioned, bile helps us digest fat. If we do not digest fat, it stays in our poop and our poop becomes light in color and can float on water. This is because of the undigested fats in the stool and the lack of the pigment from bilirubin. Bilirubin gives bile and the poop their normal color. Next up in our list is poor eyesight. Vitamin A helps our eyes. It is dependent on fats as it is a fat soluble vitamin. This simply means it needs fats to do its thing. But if our livers cannot properly produce or utilize the bile, which is required to emulsify fats, our fat digestion suffers. Hence, we also cannot use the fat-soluble vitamins. Some of these are essential vitamins that you can only get through diet. These are vitamins A, E, K, and D. Without vitamin A, our vision can suffer, leading to night blindness, it can be a sign of liver stress, but not the most straightforward one. The sixth sign is itchiness. This is because of bile buildup. Your bile has toxins that need to be removed from the body. If the bile cannot be removed at the appropriate place and time, the toxins stay in our body, and they often affect the skin, leading to itchiness and burning sensation. This is because of the circulatory system. Blood flow brings essential nutrients to our cells and takes away the waste materials from them. When the liver is under a lot of stress, this can affect the proper disposal of toxic waste products inside the body. Metabolic syndromes like diabetes can also make this problem worse. The sensation of bile buildup as itchiness is most sharply felt in our hands and feet. Okay, on to next. Allergies. It can be food or anything related to the environment. And sometimes you could feel like you are allergic to everything you eat or anything you come into contact with. This can be a sign of damaged liver. Let's think about this. The liver is supposed to keep our blood clean. But if it's under a lot of stress, it cannot do this job very well. Then our body is filled with stuff that's not supposed to be there. And these toxins in the blood makes us to react to things. Our immune system becomes hyper alert because it's not used to being surrounded with this much stuff that it identifies as foreign. And the result is allergic reactions. The next sign could be ascites. It is a type of swelling and it happens when the water leaks out of our blood vessels and into our tissues. And this fluid buildup happens in the stomach. The disease is caused by decreasing levels of a protein called albumin. Albumin is a protein which is made by your liver and it enters your bloodstream and helps keep fluid from leaking out of your blood vessels into other tissues. But when there are liver problems, albumin production takes a nosedive. As a result, water can leak out and cause swelling. Alright, up next, fatigue. Before we proceed, I do want to mention that fatigue as a symptom has been reported for many conditions. Hence, it's not as specific as other signs that I have mentioned so far. But still, there are many connections between fatty liver and fatigue. I will explore some of these here. 
your body is always on alert. And the liver is essential for maintaining ketones, blood sugar levels and other key metabolic processes in the body. If the liver is not functioning well, it may not produce enough energy and maintain blood sugar levels. So that's point number one. Next is when the liver is inflamed, your body prioritizes healing. It wants to repair the consistent damage to the liver. It's a constant cycle of healing and damage. This perpetual healing and the resources needed to sustain it can make you feel tired. When you think about it, first there is a problem with energy metabolism as the liver is stressed. Then your body uses up energy to fix the liver, leaving you feeling fatigued. This is said to be one of the reasons for the fatigue, but more research is needed. Next symptom could be pain. Pain, the exact location depends on a lot of factors, but shoulder or neck regions are the usual suspects. The idea is that when an internal organ is under stress, it can cause pain in other parts of the body. Ever heard of the term called pain patterns? For example, if you have a heart condition, such as heart attack, there is a chance that you may feel intense pain in your left shoulder. Let me explain. The heart itself may not feel any pain, but it radiates pain signals to other areas, sort of like spreading the pain. We call this referred pain. Similarly, when the liver is under crises, you may experience pain in your shoulder and neck. So to summarize, some of the early signs of fatty liver or bronze diabetes, jaundice, xanthalasma, erratic bowel movements, fatty stools, poor vision, itchiness, frequent allergies, fatigue, abdominal swelling, and shoulder and neck pain. In case you are wondering how to naturally cure fatty liver, please check my video on fatty liver treatment. And yes, it is possible to detoxify the liver, but how successful one can be depends on how much damage the liver has sustained. Thanks for watching.